another V5K day, and uh, not quite as nice as the other day, but look at that. You get a sunrise like that, she's worth getting up for. Happy days, everybody. We get a lot of people asking what burley cam is. Well, that's what it is. So basically, it's a, it's one of those plastic burley pots with a dive weight mounted on the bottom and an SJ cam mounted on the top. Uh, not an expensive camera. Uh, you wouldn't want it to be expensive because if old Mr. Bitey Tooth got it, then uh, she's good by. So we'll lower that back down. So when it sits on the bottom, it goes down like that, sits on the bottom, and it sits upright like that. In. A little car wire this time. Oh, maybe not so little. Stay away from the burly pot. Yeah, I'd like it to come over here away from the burly pot. So a smaller version this time, he might be 40 if he's lucky. We'll give him a tag anyway. Tagger ready. Make sure it doesn't flop over the side. So this fella is 44 centimetres. And he's 13576, 44 centimetres. Oh, bloody dropped it. Just had a phone call from her brother, the old girl's in hospital. Suspected heart attack, that's always fucking good news when you're out fishing. Hope the old goat's alright. Oh, he's busted his hook off. But he got his sinkers back, how incredible is that? Oh, yes, so the knot's, that's interesting. So the knot's still there, but it's pulled through the eye of the hook. That's when the eye of the hook isn't closed completely, and the knot rolls around on it, so... Yeah, whatever that fish is, has now got a hook in it. Right, put a new hook on. Fuck that's throwing me the old news about the old girl. It's a bit of a bugger. Oh well, she'll be okay. She's, she's a strong old goat. She's made a good stock. Um, yeah, it's giving me the fucking shakes. Anyway, as you can see, it's glassed right off. So the mock knot that I tie is just a five-turn uni knot. Nothing flash, and the hooks aren't anything flash either. They're just a bloody recurve long line hook. So burly cam's still down there doing its thing, so uh, that's good. We'll give them a shake. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, 
he's dropped it, hadn't hooked it properly, eh? Okay, we've pulled up to another spot on the Kuiper. 5.2 metres, burly cams down, so you'll get to see what that looks like. Hopefully the visibility's okay. Should be. Those that fish the Kuiper regularly will recognise the spot. And for you land-based guys, uh, you will definitely recognise the spot. So we've got Mini down. Keeping us in the spot lock there. And there's a little back eddy here. If you're a boater, you can sit in the back eddy here. Anyway, let's see what happens. Cast a fly first, I guess. It's a fine line here about getting the balance right between the current that's ripping past. Um, you want to be right on the edge there. See the current racing past there. You can sort of see the drop off here. Oh yeah, that current really swirls. There's bait fish on the edge of the current here. So we're down to three metres now. Now I've been here before and the bottom is quite rocky so uh, you can see it's just starting to drop off to 3.6 and there we go 5.4 so we stop money. Let it get its bearing lock, put it on uh, spot lock And she, she should do a thing. You can hear her, she's up to five, four, just trying to hold us here. So, yeah, if you get it too, uh, don't quite get it right. You can see the swirls on the water here with the current ripping past. So, 7.2, we'll put the camera down, see what it looks like. So, those that have watched my channel before, would have seen the octopus climb over the burly cam. This is a spot for that. So um, I'll see if I can dig that old footage up and show you anyway. Oh, there's little bait fish chasing that up. So those fish that you saw on the sound before are probably mackerel. Okay, he's got a very small, probably a jack mackerel on the fly here. Oh, it's the smallest snapper you've ever seen. It's even so small, it won't get a tag in it. There you go, so on the fly, against the cliffs, he'd be lucky to make 15 centimetres. There he is, he's not even as big as my hand. There you go little fella. I'm not sure if other people have this issue when they're washing the boat. Oh, the sheep come around to look. Hello! But uh, this guy, watch this. You don't want to spray your. Wait! You don't want to spray the boat. Yeah, well, you're choking. Why are you choking? Whoa! Wait, little Lou, sit. Wait, wait. You gotta keep him away from that sharp thing. Good boy. Ah, uh, wait. Okay, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. You alright? Nick. Good boy. And then you've got this fellow that's always here to help. Ginge! What's up, bro? Huh? Come on! 
excuse the sheep noise, but here's a little handy hint. Uh, if you store your motor and store it down, you'll see the, the gouge in the concrete. Um, that's lesson learned from many years ago when I actually left the motor down and pulled the boat out. So I'll actually stick this sign on here now. And that's just to remind me not to pull the boat out because the motor's actually down. So if you want to save your skeg, I suggest you do something along those lines.